Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The Detroit Free Press published this article in 1988. How's this for a 21st century headline? Greenhouse effects swamps U.S. coastline, scorches Sunbelt. The secondary headline, millions migrate to temperate, water-rich Great Lakes region. The possibility isn't far-fetched, say many scientists who attended a Great Lakes conference on global warming that concluded in Oak Brook, Illinois last Thursday. Studies projected a 4 to 9 degree Fahrenheit temperature increase in the Great Lakes region as early as 2030. That could cause a decline of about 2 to 9 feet in Great Lakes water levels. These studies were made 35 years ago, and we're getting pretty close to 2030. Let's see how their projections did. Great Lakes water levels are almost exactly the same as they were 100 years ago. There's no indication that Great Lakes water levels are either increasing or decreasing. In 2014, Think Progress said, the Great Lakes go dry. It's always fascinating to me how journalists are being paid to write this sort of fiction. Now let's look at the prediction of a 4 to 9 degree temperature increase in the Great Lakes region. Like many other parts of the country, temperatures in the Great Lakes states peaked in 1921 and are about the same now as they were at the end of the 19th century. But the frequency of hot days in the Great Lakes states has plummeted over the last 90 years. The 1988 predictions were completely baseless junk science. Climate alarmists would argue that their science has gotten better since 1988. So let's take a look at a prediction from last year. January 18th, 2022. Great Lakes researchers predict record low ice coverage. The Great Lakes News Collaborative includes Bridge, Michigan, Circle of Blue, Great Lakes Now at Detroit Public Television, and Michigan Radio. The Great Lakes annual winter freeze is off to a slow start with ice coverage well below average for this time of year, said James Kessler, a scientist at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Great Lakes Environmental Research Laboratory. Lake Michigan and Lake Huron are both likely to see less ice than ever at peak freeze in 2022. According to Environment Canada, Great Lakes ice coverage last year was slightly above average since 1980. Great Lakes ice coverage has been above average for five out of the last nine years, with the peak year occurring in 2014. The percent of nights below 10 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 12 degrees Celsius in the Great Lakes states is about the same now as it was during the 1930s, 1940s, and 1950s. Last year, the percent of cold nights was well above average, with the second highest year being 2014 after 1978. Climate academics have demonstrated over and over again that they have no clue what they're talking about, and normally their predictions are the exact opposite of reality. These academics are being paid by somebody to make up scary stories as part of an effort to demonize low-cost, reliable energy. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this scam for the past 15 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki Upla, and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.